why good morning youtube hi it's michelle it's june 3rd and i thought i'd give a final flip of my may journal uh it turned out to be really really chunky um started with a base that i created last year around this time and decided it's time to use your own journals that you've made for your own memories and so this is may it's fiery so there's a boho bead on the front the may and let's do a quick flip through So there you have it. May is all done. And I've already decided that June I am going to use my blue TN. It's a little bit thinner, so hopefully I can, um, t uh, can tip in, in some pages and everything. Let me show you the one that I'm going to use. It's uh, blue for last year oh so blue and i made it last year again as a design team project for creations by jinx hey jennifer that's jay gets one two three on the yt 
and um, just showing some of the beautiful embellishment pieces she has in her shop and these were all in the hues of blue there's a utility envelope I did with washi a lot of things I've made following other crafters when they did their craft with me so this is gonna be my base guys uh, lots of stenciling you know that's my little thing now is to make sure everything has some stenciling on it some fun um, design papers and digital embellishments coffee dye paper again digis bags some construction paper design paper so i look forward to working in this traveler's notebook for the month and I thought it would be fun if I had enough time to show you one of the first things I want to do. Um, I got this. I just pulled this off of my... Uh, I'm wearing a tank top today. Black pants and a black tank. And I pulled this off and it says, A New Day. And I really love that. And yesterday, at Tuesday morning, I found this pack of napkins. You know, I really need to do a napkin swap. Because, you know, you buy the whole pack. I mean, it's a great price. But I am never going to use all these blue napkins but I like the birdie on the cover so I thought I'd show you how I do my decoupaging so we're gonna move this over just a little bit let me figure out the camera angle right there guys I'm definitely not the professional photographer so let me take out my May tags that I pulled out I'll put those back in so here again this is what I'm doing it's a, a new day let me get my ruler this is only a, what? So one and three fourths by three and a quarter. Little tag. And I want it to, I like the fact that it said a new day. And so what I'm gonna do, I've already taken my uh, napkin and I have um, taken off the extra layers using some tape. And Crafty Irina showed us that. All you do is you just take a small piece of tape and you um, adhere it to the back and take it off. And then that's your first piece. But most of these napkins and things have two or three um, layers. So you just keep uh, using the tape to take off the layers. If you do the corner thing, it's so hard to try to peel it. So there's that. And I want this bird to go on here but I want a new day to be able to show through like that. Maybe I'll just do the flowers. I think I'm just gonna do the flowers, guys, okay? Alrighty, so let me show you what you do. So all I'm gonna do is just tear around, do a, a very rough tear around that that I want to um, decoupage on the piece and by no means I mean there are people who got tutorials this technique is one that um, Sagita showed Sagita does a lot of decoupaging in her journals and what's neat about it is you don't get the mod whatever she did I you know wanted to see because you don't end up with this mod podge glob all over your papers so after you've torn your piece so see I'm gonna use this floral piece here floral and this is just some packaging and I've used it already I used one side yesterday so I'm gonna use the other side that hasn't that's not all gunky and you put your um, your piece face down on your paper and you grab up your and I'm just gonna use um, oh here's my my patch um, so I've got my Podge, and I had this yesterday, um, some more packaging just to put the my Podge on. Okay, can you guys see everything? I hope so. It's kind of far away. Sorry. Um, anyway. Um, and so all you do is you delicately just put the my Podge on the napkin area. Don't go outside too much. I know that you know you want to get the edges, but you can always adhere the edges at the end. 
but you just lightly brush the Mod Podge on. And again, I'm just using um, packaging. I forget what came in here, some kind of embellishment of some kind. Um, it's really good. Acetate works. If you have some acetate, then that way you can just wash it and reuse it. And that's typically what I have, but right now my little loft crafting area is a hot mess. And so, okay, so all I've done is I've lightly brushed the back of all the napkin with the Mod Podge. Now it's kind of funky because you've got the, the cloudiness from yesterday's project. But then what you do is you turn it over and you figure out where you want your image to be. And so I'm gonna put it right here, see? I want it kinda here, okay? So I want a new day to show through. Ooh, and it's not gonna show through on that. Let me reposition this over here. There we go. Yeah, I wanna be able to see a new day. Okay, that's close enough. And all you do is you press it down. And I'm having this actually go around the edge here. But you press it down and then watch. You peel it up and you get a very light, so therefore, so let's do the other side here, see? Here, and I just wrapped it around, pressed it down, okay? And then you lift your acetate, or in this case, this is just acrylic packaging. And in this way, you don't have Mod Podge all over the place. See, so it's a really clean decoupage. So this is going to be my first things. And that new will show up, but that way you can see a new day in there. Okay, and when it dries. And then I'll put something on the back to cover up the, the tag and stuff like that. But probably some book paper. So I was doing this last night. And let me just show you the results. So here it is on some book pages. That's just the flower portion. And here is the full bird page. And I'll use this probably to make, I'm going to do a pocket. Sew up a pocket and put on there. Okay. So that was quick and brief. Definitely not um, a techno... Uh, genius when it comes to crafting. I just follow everybody else. Again, I saw that. Sagita did that. And I've really, that's what I use from now, just from now on. So again, you turn the napkin over, face down, onto the plastic or acetate. Put a light coat of your Mod Podge. Flip it over and then kind of, you know, press it down. And then just peel away um, the acetate or the... Um, plastic and it comes down it just really looks nice and clean so i hope everybody has a great week uh happy crafting and stay tuned as i document june bye everybody have a good day